Information flow is the movement of information relevant to the business, to where it is produced, to where it can be actioned. For any organisation, speed, efficient information flow is very important to its success. With most organisations, there are three types of information flow. Downwards, senior management informs the rest of the organisation about decisions taken and the direction of the company. Upwards, the staff of the organisation reports to the management on their progress and on any successes and any problems that the management need to address. Across, information is passed between different parts of the organisation so they can work together to achieve their common goal. For an example, an IT department has information flow to and from parts of the organisation for which it develops or maintains systems. It maintains a help desk to resolve day-to-day -day problems with systems used by other departments. The manager of the IT department holds a weekly meeting with the department that uses IT services in order to report on progress and identify trends. Information also flows out of the organisation. Almost all organisations will provide information to their customers. They may be targeted to individual customers, such as a bank statement or utility bill, to a group of customers, such as a council report on its performance, or to its customers, such as a public company annual report. In the past, this information would have been delivered in printed form, but now increasingly likely to be delivered via the internet. Information also flows to the suppliers and many organisations are also legally required to send large amounts of information to government bodies. An information flow diagram shows the steps involved in data flow. It includes where the data is originally produced, where it is turned into information and where decisions are made on that data. The following shows the steps involved in an information system from the past reporting on aircraft movements. Takeoff and landings are observed. Reports are manually entered. Information derived is vague and non-specific. The next example shows the steps involved in an information system today, turning aircraft movement data into aircraft punctuality information. Aircraft movement data time and other movement details entered into the local computer. External body reports aircraft movement data. Movement data is validated, processed into information, sorted and stored centrally. Screens and reports produced analysing movements in many ways. Analysts take action on information. <laughs>